flying, kayaking, fishing, skiing, and many, many more adventures. Follow along as we explore the wild land of the midnight sun. So this is my second season on flying on skis. Last season I didn't get a ton of days in. Um, I was I didn't get on skis until super late, and then I was working all spring, shooting a bunch of skiing films, and uh, I only got a few real good ski flying days, but got semi comfortable on some really easy glacial landings, and it's one of the funnest things I've ever done. So we're gonna go out. Ash has got big old skis on her plane. We tried to go out and do some first glacial landings with her a few days ago, but. The clouds moved in and you already it's already really hard to see anything on glaciers so when it's cloudy it's especially difficult but uh yeah we got a beautiful day so we're gonna go fly to the mountains and hopefully uh get a couple glacial landings under ash's belt and hopefully not to get too stuck out there i'm really excited and i know once i get in the air i'm gonna be nervous <laughs> naturally but um, i've been spending a lot of time in the right seat so i feel like i have a good grasp on what i don't want to do and I've been, getting, um, I've been getting the hang of what it feels like in the right seat with more weight um, and getting a feel for what the plane's capable of in deep snow, on hard packed, um, and then also learning like what bad light, what flat light feels like and how scary that can be and using your peripherals. Um, so I feel like I have a foundation for what I need to do and this situation feels perfect for learning in. We're also landing on a, a pretty mellow glacier. It's not too steep. Sometimes we go out and we land on steep glaciers and this one feels like a great beginner glacier. So I think it's a good, good first step. place to figure out your plane's capabilities light here and we're pretty low elevation only like 3,000 feet and the light's awesome they'll have great depth perception with my tracks already in there and it's a pretty small hill so it will give you a little taste of landing on uphill and then making your turn okay sounds good one question so uh, if I feel like I'm getting stuck I just really need to pull power and start turning right yep exactly and the glacier is so big and low angle that you'll have tons of space to take off, even out on the flats there. And uh, even you could even go around on your approach in uh, if you needed to for some reason, which is not usually the case on most glaciers. So, but this is an awesome little practice spot. Okay, sounds good. go nice keep your speed up and take off again Good. yeah nice nice keep that tail out of the snow watch the drag sick hell yeah baby wow that is crazy feeling out the power. Yeah, totally. It's super touchy in different snow conditions and different steepness of the glacier and oh, it's, there's so many factors. 
counterintuitive. Yeah, for sure. Well, this is like the best place in the world to practice. Um, so I just keep hammering out if you're feeling good. And I mean, you got to a really good place. Once you're pointed downhill, you can stop, no problem. Okay, sounds good. Nice. Now you can just keep as much power in as you need to make it up to the top of the hill and turn around. You shouldn't have any problem getting up here if you stay in the tracks and uh, keep power in. But if you get out of the tracks or start to slow down with full power, just make your turn back downhill before you lose your momentum or you could get stuck. Nice. Yeah, try and just push your tail up and out of the snow, get rid of some of that drag on the tail wheel, and then once you build up a little bit of airspeed, you can lower the tail back to like a kind of a three point attitude, trying to keep it out of the snow, but um, just enough for you're getting some lift off the skis and reducing your drag on those skis and uh, take off a bit quicker. So fun, so exciting. Yeah, so different from anything I've ever done. Um, I think it requires every bit of attention in your body and with the plane to figure out what's going on and just landing on a glacier, even if the conditions are really good, it's, it's pretty full on because you're full powering in to get up it and hoping that you don't get stuck. Thankfully, it wasn't too steep, so I didn't get stuck. Um, so yeah, it was a good day. That pretty crazy feeling. Yeah. Good work. Thanks, babe. All right. Well, that was super fun watching Ash crush her first glacier landing and uh, real fun to film as well. Hope you all enjoyed the video. And if you did like it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I know you've heard that a million times, but it actually really helps us build the channel and uh, we'll just notify you when we post new videos. It won't blow you up with a bunch of spam or notifications or anything. So. Yeah, like it, subscribe, share it with your friends, and see you in there.